All right, this is fifth day in from uh, going from liquid culture to my grain spawn jars here. Yeah, sitting at most for the most part should be sitting at twenty four or twenty three point nine is optimum temperature. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I used to have to sit at. So incubation chamber, optimum temperature. And back when I was doing the old vermiculite perlite cake in the jar thing, I mean, total inoculation on the outside. Uh, it was like it was like a week or so. Maybe a little longer. This is day five, and this thing is ready to freaking. It's ready to be put into the fucking tub, man. I cannot believe this grain spawn. How much better this grain spawn works versus versus the old cake style. This thing's covered. Not only is it just on the outside; it's throughout. These ones I've been shaking up right here. They're a little bit thinner covered, but it's like it's like every kernel in this beast. I mean, that's a lot of surface area. The cake style used to be just the outside. Just the outside you could cover. Pop it out, wipe out the jar, right into the freaking fruit chamber, and then it would grow out of the cake. These ones, I'm laying down thin, a thin layer. Oops, this is my liquid culture right here. I'm gonna throw out food in there. Anyway, these ones are laying down layers, along with cocoa peat and some vermiculite in there to hold the moisture. But talk about surface area. I mean, holy crow. It's going to be nice. So day five, that's all it took. And we'll be putting into a, a food tub later. I'm going to see how long it takes. But probably should have some mushrooms here. Seven days, I would think. Maybe even sooner. This might be like a freaking... This Two weeks tops and you have freaking liquid culture to dry and shrooms. Two weeks tops. We'll see what it would yield. I'll do one jar in a tub and we'll see what we yield out of one jar.